So in this tutorial, we're going to look at some basic modeling techniques in Fusion 360. We're going to look at how to build more advanced shapes with sketching, mirroring, and extruding objects. We'll design something similar to this. So let's start with a clean work plane. And we're going to create a rectangle from that center point by hitting R and specifying in the view cube the top view. And we'll click on that plane right there. And let's design a rectangle. And we'll make this rectangle uh, 40 millimeters by 80 millimeters. So let's hit 40, tab 80, and let's hit enter. And you'll see your uh, rectangle is generated using those dimensions that you specified. So what I'd like to do now is to break up this rectangle into two equal sections. And I'll do that by hitting L. And I'll move my cursor along the line towards where the middle is. And you'll see in the middle, it kind of turns into that blue X with a triangle. It means that if I drag alongside straight down, that both pieces are exactly the same size. Uh, next, what I want to do is make a circle right in the middle of each of the pieces. So I'll go to sketch, circle, center diameter circle. And again, I'll drag to the middle um, and use the snap feature of Fusion 360 to help me find that center point. So I can see that's the middle of that part. And if I drag upwards, and turns into that bullseye, and I know that's the center of that piece of the rectangle. And I can confirm that if I drag to the corners, you'll see that the circle touches all of the corners. So let's make the circle be about 20 millimeters. And that line doesn't matter which way it's going. The circle is going to be um, the same no matter which direction that arrow is going. And let's do the same thing on the other side. So I'll Find the middle, drag upwards until it snaps to the bullseye. Um, I'll double check to make sure that it is the center and I'll make this one 20 millimeters as well. Now what we're gonna do is to add a rounded corner to this rectangle on all four sides. And we'll do that by, um, inside of sketch, we'll go to sketch and we're gonna place a couple points. Um, it doesn't matter right now how far apart you place them, but as long as they're on each of the lines of the rectangle. So I'm going to place a point here, here, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other, other corner. Place a point, 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 then point, point. And what we want is to make sure that these points are 10 millimeters from each of the corners. And we'll do that by dimensioning the corners, the points. So we'll go to sketch and we'll go to um, dimension, which is this option here, or you can just hit D as the hotkey. And what we're gonna dimension is we're gonna click the corner point and the side point. Let's try this again. So you'll see it turn into this cursor um, with the two lines and the arrows in between. We're going to click on the corner point and the point that we put down. And you'll see as you drag up that there's a number. And you can change that number to um, however you want the points to be apart. So you can say 8, for example, and they're going to move closer together. But in our case, we're going to keep them 10 millimeters apart. And we're going to repeat that with this point and that same top left corner. And so that's already 10, which is what we wanted. And then we'll repeat this process with all of the other corners. So we'll hit point, corner, drag out. This one is seven, about 7.5. We want it to be 10. So type in 10 and hit enter. And keep that going for all of the points. This one is OK. Change this one to 10, 10, this one's already 10, so we'll leave it, and that one is already 10. So now we can make an arc using those points as guides, 
So let's go to sketch, arc. We'll go to three point arc and click on both points. And you'll see that you can control the curvature. In this case, we're going to keep curving it until it kind of snaps um, into those corners. And you'll see uh, those points have kind of a blue line above the point. That means it automatically becomes tangent to what you want. So that's good. Um, and those constraints also tell you that um, it's tangent to the corner. So we'll click and repeat the same thing for all of the sides. And now we have, um, and now we have the basis of our design. So we can start to extrude it upwards. Now, before we extrude, um, it might be a little bit tedious to make the same arc on all four corners by making the points and dimensioning them, especially since um, all, all of the sides are symmetric. So what we'll do is just demonstrate how you can mirror one side onto the other three corners to save yourself a little bit of time. So let's back up this design a little bit to to where we only had one of the corners as an arc. And what we'll do is we'll edit the sketch and we'll take this arc and mirror it over. So we'll go to sketch, uh, mirror. The object we'll mirror is the curve. The mirror line is going to be the line over here, so it's going to reflect it over it. And then you'll see in the preview what it's going to look like, and that's what we want. So we'll hit OK. So now you have the same arc on the other side without having to put points and dimensioning them. Um, what we want to do now is take these two arcs and mirror them over a horizontal line to be on the bottom corners. And to do that, we got to give ourselves a line first to mirror over. So let's hit L and let's find the middle. And again, you'll see that there's an X with a triangle. And it doesn't matter how long this line is, we'll just extend it a little bit. Um, and this line we're not going to use for anything except as a reference to mirror over. So it's good practice to make it a construction line. If we select it and hit the hotkey X on the keyboard, you'll see that it turns dashed. Um, so now it just becomes a construction line. So now let's go to sketch, mirror, and then let's do both of these arcs at once. The object, let's unselect it. We'll select this arc and this arc. The mirror line is going to be our construction line. And you'll see it mirrors both of the arcs over that line. Hit OK. And so now with less work, we did the same thing as we did before. So now let's extrude this design upwards. And I'll start by taking everything inside and extruding it. So if I just select this, it only so selects that section. What I want to do is select everything. So I'm going to hold Shift and select all of the objects inside that um, circular rectangle. And I'm going to go to um, Create, uh, Extrude. Or as I like to do, just hit the hotkey E. And now I have to decide how much I want to extrude it. Um, I'm just going to use 10 millimeters and I'm going to hit OK. Um, as a side note, sometimes you find that the grid uh, turns off. So you can always turn on the grid if you need it by going to this option that says grid and snaps and hitting layout grid. Um, and what also happens after you extrude is that your original sketch turns off. So let's go and find where that sketch is um, and turn it back on. So in this case, it's under sketch three. We'll turn it on and you'll see underneath that the sketch appears again. And so let's extrude this circle and make that a hole. So we'll go to, um, we'll hit E and drag it upwards. And since we want to cut through under the extrude operation, we're going to use it as a cut. Let's hit OK. 
and you'll see now that there's a hole through and then just to change it up a little bit for this one for this circle let's extrude it as a new object so it's going to be kind of a circle that's going upwards so again let's hit e um, and we'll go to operation instead of new body let's change it to join and remember we already extruded this object 10 millimeters so underneath if you go to 10 it's just going to go to the height of the object so let's go another 10 um, so overall we'll raise it 20 uh, millimeters and let's hit OK. So now you can kind of see that one of our circles is a cut and one of our circles is another object on top of our original uh, rectangle. One more thing I'm going to demonstrate is how you can build off of what you already have to add to your design. So let's go back into sketch. We'll create a sketch. But this time, instead of creating a sketch off one of the original planes, we're going to create a new sketch off of the side of the objects that we already have. So let's um, hover over it, and you'll see it turns kind of like a light gray. And we're going to make another rectangle off of this. So let's go to, um, let's use the same technique again with the points. So we'll go to sketch, um, point. And we'll place a point somewhere here, somewhere here. And then let's dimension those points. Um, remember, that's the hockey D. We'll make these two points. Let's make them um, 12 millimeters apart. And let's make these two points 12 millimeters apart as well. And then off of this, let's make kind of a rectangle, maybe let's go um, six millimeters. We'll line it up and we'll complete the shape. So we'll close it off and you'll see it's gonna turn to, if you hit escape, um, it's gonna turn to its own object that you can now extrude. So let's hit E and let's extrude this um, however long we want, maybe let's go 18 millimeters and then we can hit OK. So now we can add on to our original design. Alternatively, um, I'm going to undo this, Control Z, instead of uh, extruding it to add an object, I can extrude it to cut through. So I'm going to cut through a little bit and now we kind of once it uh, calculates, now we kind of have this little divot inside of the object.